Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez, and today we will be discussing Positional Basics Core Ground Positions Part 2, Chest to Back. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So chest to back is made up of two positions, the turtle and the back mount. These positions are linked through a chest to back connection. The opponent is facing away from you. Turtle and back mount are two positions working towards a unified goal. The unified goal is to trap the arm and attack the neck. This core position allows you to use the most successful submission in the UFC, the rear naked choke. The legs can be used for controlling the body or trapping the arms. The hands are fighting as a team. Whoever has their hands on top is winning. Fighting to absolute advantage will give you up to 80% success. Fighting to the OFP will give you up to 90% success. Chest to back also allows you to use strikes to set up arm traps. The master plan developed a consistent process in which the opponent turns their back. Defensively, chest to back is looked at as two similar but independent positions. Focus on controlling the top arm is key. Look for the weak arm release to easily escape back to guard. Inside control is king and work your way from the inside out. So you're busting your way from the inside out in order to break the grip and establish control on the top arm. From turtle bottom, we want to establish double under control. This prevents the opponent from being able to choke us. Guard again is the illusion of salvation. Stand up and work towards disengagement rather than working towards guard. While implementing building mechanics, establish inside control. This will allow you to be able to stand up without the opponent being able to relock their hands. From the back mount, the general strategy is to remove and prevent hook insertion. Getting your hips offline makes control very uncomfortable and taxing for your opponent. Hand control is primary. Primarily, we are controlling the top arm. And hook removal is secondary, so once you have established control on the top arm, you can start working on removing the hooks. So that was my presentation on chest to back from an offensive and defensive perspective. Make sure to stay tuned for part three, which is chest to chest. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you real soon.